Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel. An insightful gif. My son listens well to his father's tales. What do you call this? A windmill. Windmill. <sighs> Falk is as I was in my youth. Too much so, I think. But the past is dead, as are those who were taken from us. Only the future matters. My people will survive in spite of human and forest folk treachery. Let's see if we can uh, save our game. Let's replace this with Hawking. My son has paid the price for placing trust and curiosity in your kind, and will do so for the rest of his life. I blame myself for his lack of intuition. What about Chief Hawking? My personal life is no concern of yours, human. Should you ever travel beyond this realm, you will find no nobler bastions of purity. The human town holds little interest to me. The only contact I have with its lord is through his envoys. As it is, we have neither seen nor heard from them in some months. To me, this indicates Megail no longer desires our protection. Tell me about Bloodbark Forest. It is home to the unclean, the cast-offs of nature. No Flyterian would ever think to nest in there. Tell me about Forest Folk. If I had the wing power, I would lead an assault on those creatures and put an end to their defiling natures for good. As you can see, the evidence held to the light casts the darkest shadow over our human neighbors. What are your evidence? What's your evidence? Go ahead. Observe the items if you must. You will reach the same conclusion. Humans have been among us, uninvited, bringing nothing but ill intent. Two items of value only to humans were discovered in separate perches. Nearby was evidence of further transgression. Something else. Stolen property. What does it matter what was stolen? That these thefts happened at all is the most pertinent fact. If you must know, they were grooming implements, adornments, small things of that nature. Where is the location of them? The thefts occurred in separate locations. Condor can take you to those perches. Okay then. We're getting somewhere. Um, thanks for your time. Save the game. Uh, save this as Hawking. Or. Hawkane, chief of the Flytarians. A sundial graces the floor of Hawkane's perch. I believe it is a bath of sorts, a bird bath to be precise. An unassuming box. This is the Flytarian equivalent to a bed. A pair of torches add a touch of grandeur. The throne of Hawking.
chief of the Flightarians. The Flightarian Crest. In peacetimes or war, the sun shines on its favored flock. The Flightarians did an incredible job building their perches around the trees. An emerald scepter fit for a chief. Perhaps I should examine the evidence before leaving. Okay. Let's look at the, the emerald scepter. I've no right to bear it. Silver With razor. my luck, it contains weak old leftovers. Whatever it contains, it is not for my eyes to see. Not even our most powerful mages can turn back time. Evidence of theft. Evidence of the alleged thefts. Alright, let's look at it. Let's look at the evidence to the right of this hand. Okay, let's look at this pipe, smoking pipe. The owner was evidently a smoker. And I don't think the Flytarians have taken up such vices yet. The mouthpiece is made of brass. Interesting. What's this the gauntlet? A leather gauntlet with brass buckles and silver studs, made for a smallish hand. A leather gauntlet with brass buckles and silver studs, made for a smallish hand. As you can see, the evidence held to the light casts the darkest shadow over our human neighbors. Go ahead. Observe the items if you must. You will reach the same conclusion. Humans have been among us, uninvited, bringing nothing but ill intent. <laughs> 